Hey, it's your boy, Picante Nino, coming at you with another guide. But this time, it isn't going to be a Zerker guide. It's going to be how to guide Gryphon. There is a lot of people grinding Gryphon because they recently just buffed it. And there, I'm going to show you guys a new way how to grind it and actually get mobs three times faster whenever a Butcher respawns. So let's just jump into it. Alright, so uh, let's just jump into it. So I'm going to assume that you guys know how to grind Gaifen to the base level wherever you kill the buff, the mobs and you get the buffs to kill the other mobs. Whenever you grind Gaifen, there is a special event that happens whenever a Butcher spawns. So this little star is the Butcher. The Butcher comes in and you kill the Butcher and then you get a buff that allows you to kill any mob within one or two hits because of the butcher buff so once you kill the butcher you get the buff right so i'm gonna turn him like yellow or something so you get the buff for like about 50 seconds and then you have to kill all three of the all three of the elites so you kill all three of the elites and then you still have the star buff going okay cool once you do that you have only a set amount of time to actually make this you know cheese work so what you would do is that you go to any of the mobs you hit it a couple of times it aggros to you and what you do is you specifically run to any other other mobs and then you kill this mob basically while you're standing over the other mob and so what that does is that it drops the buff for you the thing is since you're standing in the range of another mob it's not going to allow you to pick up that buff right here it's not going to allow you to pick up this buff so you still keep this buff on you as well so you run to the next pack you aggro this guy right here, and then you run over here, this guy's coming to you, you kill him, and then he also drops the buff, but since you're standing in the buff radius of this, you don't pick it up and you're still with the star buff. And then you just keep on rinse and repeating right here. You go right here, you aggro this guy, he's running to you, you kill him, and then it drops the buff, but since you're standing in this guy's area right here, you don't pick up the buff, and you still have the star buff. And that's how you could basically do three mobs with one singular star buff. So I'm going to show you guys that in a Twitch clip that I have. So hopefully that makes enough sense. It is really hard to explain over words. I feel like making this little graph helps out a lot of people. But just, just keep in mind, whenever you get the star buff, aggro a mob. And then you run to the next guy right here. This mob's going to aggro to you. You kill it. It's going to drop a buff. Hypothetically, if you go this way and you go like that, you're going to drop the star buff and this buff is going to be on top of you. So you kind of want to just avoid the area that you killed the mob at. So that's why you always run like this, aggro the mob, the mob goes to you, this thing dies, it drops a buff. You go to the pack that is far away from that buff, aggroing this guy, this guy goes to you, you kill it, and then it drops a buff, and then you just you just stay away from the buff. So these mobs actually drop physical buffs that you cannot see. So yeah, let me play the clip for you guys whenever I was streaming yesterday, and hopefully it starts to make a lot more sense. So right here, I'm just killing a pack of mobs right here, just doing Gaipa normally, and then a Butcher just spawns out of nowhere. So goal number one, we kill the Butcher. The Butcher is dying right now, and we're going to get the star buff. So if you see on the screen right here, we are going to get the star buff as soon as the Butcher dies. So... We're just gonna wait for my little happy butt to kill it, you know. You know, Twitch streams while playing EK. Okay, we have the star buff. We have a minute to defeat all these mobs with it, so we can start doing the Gaifen cheese. All right, cool. We killed all of the elites, so now we have the star buff, right? Usually, you lose it after you kill the first pack. All right, so right here, me personally, I like to aggro a flamen first for the first guy, so I'm aggroing him, and then I try to get his health low. Run to the guy, right? I'm running to the next buff. I kill the Flamen in the range of the other buffs, so I still have the star buff. So I run to the next pack, avoiding that buff. Here we go. And then we aggro into the next pack. And then you kill him. You still have the star buff. And then you basically... You can do three mobs, three to four mobs, depending. It takes a while for him to actually, like, aggro. So that's why... 
generally three mobs with this certain cheese of just allows you to basically grind forever with it until it runs out until the timer runs out i say it's safe to get about three mobs with one star buff i have done four i haven't heard of anyone doing five because just the amount of time it takes for the mobs to wake up but yes that is the guy and cheese hopefully you guys learned from this video um and happy grinds man hopefully this tech helps you pull more trash loot it does help me pull about 1,000 more trash loot than I would normally do. 1,000 to 2,000. It isn't that much of a big deal on trash loot, but it does give you more chances for accessory drops. So with that, you guys, like, thank you guys for watching my video. I stream Mondays through Fridays, Awakening Zerker only. And if you guys want to check me out or leave me a follow on Twitch, that would be amazing. We're actually working our way up there pretty um, slowly, but... You know what? This is what you get whenever you see me live. God will teach you guys this kind of stuff that sometimes I just forget to make it into videos. So this is why this is a video. And with that, you guys, have a nice one.